Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today we're going to take a look at a new feature found in Photoshop's Camera Raw called Super Resolution. Super Resolution effectively quadruples the resolution of an image. It should be very useful for those of us that have a lot of images taken with older digital cameras, cameras that had megapixel counts below 10. Also, it will help us who have images from more modern high megapixel cameras that were cropped heavily. Now, it works on JPEGs, TIFFs, and RAW files. I have an example of each, and this specific one of the Green Heron happens to be a TIFF file. Next to it, I have an image of this um, red-bellied woodpecker, and it is a JPEG. And I also have a raw file to show you. Now we'll go back to the green heron, which is the TIFF file. I cropped this heavily. It is 3158 by 2092. It is 6.6 .6 megapixels. So if I wanted to make a print of this, I wouldn't be able to make a print much larger than maybe 8 by 10. Uh, so what I could do is send it through super resolution. And to do that, just right click right on the image and go down to enhance. Now you may remember about two years ago, Adobe introduced Enhanced Details in both Lightroom and Photoshop's Camera Raw. Enhanced Details works on RAW files, but Super Resolution is found inside of Enhance. So we'll click on that, and you'll see this dialog box come up. Now because this is not a RAW file, this part is grayed out, but it does have Super Resolution checked. And you have a little preview box you could um, zoom out by hitting the little negative magnifier and then zoom in to a part of the image you want to kind of look at, maybe the bird's eye. And then you could click on the image to see the enhanced version, hold in the left mouse button, see it without being enhanced. And you can see that it is seemingly making it a little bit sharper. Hopefully you could see that in the video, but it is making it a bit sharper. And when you're ready, just click enhance. It's not much really to that dialog box. And what it will do is it will create a DNG file. So you'll have another version of the image. We're still on the original TIFF file right now, 6.6 .6 megapixels. Down here in the film strip, I'll click on the other one next to it. And you can see that that is 26.4 megapixels. So it effectively quadrupled the megapixels by doubling the length and doubling the width of the image. Now, I'll jump to the other one. This is that JPEG. Now, this one is a bit larger. It is 24 megapixels, but I, I picked this one because let's see how it handles a larger file. How will it work here? So again, we'll uh, right-click on the image, and we'll go down to Enhance. Again, it's not a RAW file, so that part is grayed out. We could like maybe try to see how it's actually uh, enhancing. I don't see too much of a difference. It does look, I guess sharper but you know we'll see we'll click enhance now because this is a larger file to begin with it may take a little longer to uh, create this super resolution version it still was pretty fast though and there it is it is 95.9 megapixels so it did quadruple the resolution of that image again by doubling the length and doubling the width resolution of the image so um, we're done here. For some reason, if you try to load a JPEG, TIFF, and RAW file at the same time into Camera Raw, it will put the JPEG and the TIFF together, but it puts the RAW file all alone in its separate window. That's what I found out today. And by the way, um, you'll notice I have JPEGs and TIFFs in Adobe Camera Raw. By default, Photoshop won't open up a JPEG or TIFF. Uh, into Camera Raw automatically. And Super Resolution is not available in the Camera Raw filter. So you have to have your preferences of Photoshop set up so that it will open up a JPEG and TIFF automatically into Camera Raw. I actually have a video demonstrating how to set that up. And I'll have a link to that video in the uh, description below this video. But right now I'll click Done. And I mentioned that it has a raw file on its own um, kind of 
camera raw window. Now this one is cropped super heavily. Uh, this one is 1,246 by 997, effectively 1.2 megapixels. So it's really a small image. And we'll just click on it, right click on it. We'll go down to enhance. Now this is a raw file. So you see raw details here, it's still grayed out, but that's only grayed out because super resolution is checked. Once I check it, you'll see that raw details is now active. So it is a raw file. We'll click on super resolution though, because that's what we want. So we want to hopefully quadruple the 1.2 megapixel size and we'll click enhance. And this one hopefully shouldn't, well, maybe it's a raw file, so maybe it will take a little longer. Let's see, yeah, there it is. And it is five megapixels, so it's 2491 by 1993. Now, as far as it's supposed to um, minimize artifacts and sharpen the image, it, I know you can't really see it in the video, so you kind of kind of have to take my word for it. It is doing that. Very, very slight sharpening though. It's not like making it super sharp. Very slight sharpening, and it seems to be minimizing the artifacts uh, a bit. So if I come in here, I don't know why it keeps doing that, but if you try to look right in here, this is the original raw file. So if you kind of look at the feather detail right here, and then I click on this one, hopefully you can see it. It is a bit sharper, uh, but it is a super heavy crop. So there are some artifacts there anyway. Uh, but it did minimize them, I think. Now, of course, they're competing against Topaz Labs Gigapixel. And I believe, I, I truly believe they're coming out with this in response to Topaz Labs Gigapixel. In my opinion, now I know my opinion is tainted because I'm an affiliate for Topaz Labs, but I'm also affiliate for Do Adobe. But uh, Topaz Labs is, uh, Gigapixel is better. It, it, you just have more control. Not only does it, in you know make a larger more resolute image for you but it also uh, minimizes artifacts sharpens the image and it reduces noise and you can have more control over how big of a image you want to create uh, with this it only quadruples the resolution you don't have any control over that in photoshop in topaz labs you do have control over how big you want the resultant image to be so we're gonna click done here. I just wanna show you what it does. And we'll minimize Photoshop. Uh, here's our three original images, images. The green heron was the TIFF, the red-bellied woodpecker was the JPEG, and the downy woodpecker was the raw file. Uh, now here are our enhanced image. There's the DNG for the green heron, the DNG for the red-bellied woodpecker, and the DNG for the down, um, downy woodpecker. So there are the three enhanced images. So again, I think it's a welcome addition to um, Camera Raw, and I look forward then uh, I look forward to them adding it to Lightroom because I think it would help uh, many of us, especially when we have those older digital cameras, as I mentioned, that were uh, very low megapixel count, and or we have an image we just had to crop a lot. This should help out a great deal, and then you won't need necessarily a plugin to do it for you. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think of uh, Super Resolution by Adobe? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.